morning children so let's learn lesson number 4 nutrition in living organisms class 7 so today we are going to learn nutrition in animals in our last period we learn nutrition in plants so now let's learn nutrition in animals you know the animals are also required the food to get various functions body functions so that animals depend on food on other animals or plants so plants are producers plants are able to prepare their own food but in case of animal animal do not prepare their own food they depend on others for the food so the nutrition in animals this concept refers to the body's need for nutrients the nutrition takes place in five different stages so on the basis of mode of nutrition animals can be classified into holozoic animal parasitic animal and saprozoic type of nutrition show in animals okay holozoic saprozoic and parasitic nutrition in this three types of nutrition takes place in animals now let's learn one by one so see nutrients necessary for various activities of body are obtained from the food we we require the food nutrients which are food nutrients that is carbohydrates fats proteins vitamins minerals and roughage along with the water these are the essential nutrients required for performing various activities in animals so they are supplied to the various parts of body through the blood so when you ingest the food when you eat the food the food get mixes into blood and blood through the blood that all the nutrients supplied to the all body parts for performing various functions okay the food that we consume does not mix with blood as it is it needs to convert into simple soluble form the food atom we eat that are in complex form okay it need to be converted into simple soluble form so by the action of various enzymes on the food the food get converted into soluble substances okay and the soluble form that can easily mix in the blood so nutrition in animals varies step from ingestion to ejection so it takes place in five stage okay so let's learn one by one five stages of nutrition you see nutrition five stages first step of nutrition is ingestion ingestion okay first step is ingestion so what happened in ingestion let's see food is taken into the body we inject food food taken into body food taken in to body means we use our hand to inject the food then digestion second step is digestion when the food enters into the body the conversion of food into simple soluble form that means it is digestion okay then third step is absorption so right here food converted convert simple soluble form okay 
in the digestion process. Then absorption. Absorption, transfer of soluble food into the blood. Here, soluble food transfer into blood. Transfer to blood. Means it easily mixed with the blood. Then fourth stage is assimilation. What happened in assimilation? The utilization of absorbed food. This absorbed food utilized in step of assimilation. Okay. And the fifth stage is ejection. Ejection means removal of food. Removal of food. Removal of food in the form of faces means the ejection, the unwanted material, the undigested material that throughout from the body that is ejection. So these food five stages, ingestion, digestion, absorption, assimilation and ejection. So these five stages shows a nutrition in animals. So let's learn one by one. Okay. Next is, it is very interesting to note that different organisms on the earth ingest food in different ways, okay? You know, lots of varieties of animals are found on the earth. Some are reptiles, some are terrestrial animals, some are aquatic animals, some insects. So their way of ingest food is different way. So see how the human being, you know, human being swallow food after achieving. So we ingest food with our hand, and we move the food, chew it finely, and the swallow food after chewing. So in human being, like then herbivores animal. Herbivores animals means the plant eating animals quickly swallow the grass and leaves. They store these in a part of their stomach and again back to come back the food halfly or the partially chewed food come back to the mouth. Again, chew it finely and then digest it. So this found in herbivores animals. So they are called the ruminants. Okay. Then the unicellular animals, some unicellular animals such as amoeba. Have you seen the amoeba? Amoeba is a unicellular organism that does not have the organ like us, like hands, like mouth, because it is a single celled animal. So in amoeba, it is a unicellular organism. It can take the food to any part of the surface of its body. So see amoeba, the structure of amoeba, how the amoeba ingest food, The body of, if you see amoeba in microscopic body structure is the irregular shape, changes its shape. Okay, that is amoeba. It has irregular shape. Then how it in this food? Amoeba does not have the organ like hand, like mouth. So it takes the food any part from its body. So this part 
any part so if you in a water does not then it surrounds the food particle then amoeba shows the unicellular organism such as amoeba engulf the prey it engulf its prey with the help of pseudopodia so this is the it pseudopodia 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 means it is a false feet they are used for this locomotion for the movement and catching its prey this pseudopodia helps to catch the prey also okay so thus the food vacuole is formed inside the body and the digestive juices break down the engulf food particles into the simpler form the undigested waste are expelled from the body of amoeba to the cell membrane so what happen whenever there is any organism which is a food any insect any so what happen the food that the food when and amoeba usually live in the pond and it catch the food with the help of its pseudopodia pseudopodia is a false feet so it surrounds the food particle from all the sides to take it into the cell so what happen if the food is here suppose the food is here food of amoeba a vacuum develops this pseudopodia enlarge into the side on this side also it enlarge its part so there develop the vacuum yahan se ek pseudopodia wahan se dusra that enlarge and vacuum forms and this part is joined body okay after that it digests the food with the help of different enzymes so different different enzymes attack on the food and food digest with the help of different enzymes then undigested food is left behind as the amoeba moves further with the help of pseudo or after that the undigested food is here when it moves move there is a movement of pseudopodia and that undigested food that remove outside the body by the action of these pseudopodia so so it shows irregular shape is always change its shape okay so in unicellular animals like amoeba euglena paramecium all the steps of nutrition occur within their unicellular body structures so once again i am going to repeat the amoeba digestion so how amoeba digest its food so what happen it can take the food through any part of its body surface its body surface that is the pseudopodia okay wo pseudopodia portion hai that is false feet podia means feet it use this pseudopodia for locomotion also for catching its prey okay what happen it surrounds the food particle from all sides to take it into the cell after that it digests the food with the help of different enzymes so whenever the food enters inside the body by the action of pseudopodia various enzymes attack on that food and that food absorb inside the body by the action of enzymes and after that 
with the help of this action of this pseudopodia uh, undigested food is left behind as the amoeba moves further with the help of pseudopodia so in this way the amoeba inject is food by the action of pseudopodia okay so insect also if you have seen some insect that insect have mouth parts for ingestion of food then for example insect like cockroach you know cockroaches and grasshopper which nibble have jaw like mouth parts butterfly is also they suck the food with the help of tube like proboscis proboscis is a part then mosquitoes and bed bugs use a needle like mouth part to pierce the tube like mouth part and suck the blood and other fluid also so in which how you seen then hydra you know hydra pushes its food with the help of tentacles inside the body cavity in spider okay have you seen the spider how it engulf the food the mode of ingestion is sucking after injecting venom to the prey spiders kya karte hai pehle wo prey ke venom mein prey mein venom inject venom means poison they inject the venom to catch the prey then frogs you know frog has a sticky tongue chameleon also sticky tongue it captured the prey with their sticky tongue then earthworm swallow food using their muscular pharynx so that are the different different animal show the different steps of ingestion so in this lesson in this portion talk we learn the five stages of digestion that are ingestion ingestion means food is taken inside the body okay various animal shows a various parts of ingestion then digestion start whenever food enters into our body the digestion of food takes place inside the stomach okay so conversion of food into simple soluble substances that means the digestion then absorption takes place the absorption so transfer of soluble food to the blood okay blood absorb the food material various nutrients present in the food atom so all these absorb into the blood and blood transport throughout our body okay then assimilation what happen in assimilation the utilization jo bhi absorb kiya hai blood mein nutrients so that nutrients utilize so utilization of absorbed food by the cell and tissue for energy production we know we get energy from the food so that means that is assimilation se hamare body ko energy production hota hai growth and repair also then at last ejection ejection means the removal of waste material and undigested food from the body in the form of feces or in the form of digestive waste okay so this is about the nutrition in animals and observe the animals around you and you have and observe various parts of ejection how they ingest their food and how they digest their food so learn this in our next period we will learn another two types of nutrition that is saprozoic nutrition and parasitic nutrition that means first we learn holozoic nutrition so holozoic nutrition means we directly that food enters into our body the ingest complex organic food substances digest them by the action of enzymes produced within their body and expel the digestive waste outside the body that means holozoic type of nutrition amoeba and human being 
are the examples of holozoic type of nutrition understood holozoic nutrition so next period we will continue